I've got 17 words for you. And if you know all of them, your English vocabulary is in the top tier. Think you're in the top 3% of English speakers? Let's put that to the test. Here is how it's going to work. I'll show you a word and then show you three possible definitions. Your job is to pick the best one. Ready? We will start with some intermediate level words and then work our way up to advanced vocabulary. Let's see how many you can get right. Let's go. Okay, now, here is our first word. Abundant. Abundant. Does this mean rare, plentiful, or dangerous? If something is abundant, it means that it's plentiful or in large quantities. Example, there was an abundant supply of fresh fruits at the market. Next word, inhibit. Inhibit. Does this word mean encourage, prevent, or improve? Inhibit means to prevent or hold back. Here is the example. Fear of failure can inhibit people from pursuing their goals. Next word. Enhance. Enhance. Does it mean to weaken, to maintain, or to improve? To enhance means to improve or to make something better. Example, the new software will enhance productivity at work. Next word, fluctuate, fluctuate. Does this word mean to remain steady, to decrease, or to vary? To fluctuate means to change or vary irregularly. Example, the stock prices tend to fluctuate throughout the day. Next word, provoke. Provoke. Does this mean to calm, to challenge, or to incite? Provoke means to incite or stir up a reaction. It's often very negative. Example, his rude remarks provoked anger among the crowd. Intermediate words, let's go. Next word, diligent. Diligent, does this word mean lazy? Careful and hard working, uninterested. Diligent means careful and hard working. Example, she is a diligent student who always completes her assignments on time. Next word, imply, imply. Does this word mean to state directly, to suggest indirectly, or to confuse? To imply means to suggest something without stating it directly. Example, his tone implied that he wasn't happy with the decision. Next word, resilient, resilient. Does this mean word fragile, flexible, or strong and adaptable? Resilient means strong and able to recover from difficulties. Example, children are often more resilient than adults in adapting to change. 
Next word, curtail. Curtail. Does this word mean to extend, to reduce, or to explore? To curtail means to reduce or limit something. Example, the company had to curtail its spending due to financial challenges. Next word, intricate. Intricate. Does this word mean simple, complicated, or uninteresting? Intricate means very detailed or complex. Example, the artist's painting was full of intricate details. Challenging words, let's go. Next word, obsolete, obsolete. Does this word mean out of date, modern, or optional. Obsolete means no longer in use or outdated. Example, the typewriter has become obsolete in the digital age. Next word, astute, astute. Does this word mean intelligent? confused, or careless. Astute means having the ability to assess situations and turn them to one's advantage. Example, she made an astute observation about the market trends. Next word, relinquish relinquish does this mean to give up to take control or to hide to relinquish means to give up or let go of something example he had to relinquish his position due to health issues Next word, deviate, deviate. Does this word mean to follow the plan, to go off course, or to discuss? To deviate means to go off course or stray from the path. Example, we had to deviate from our original route due to road construction. Advanced words, let's go. Next word, scrutinize, scrutinize. Does this word mean to glance at, to examine carefully, or to ignore? To scrutinize means to examine something very carefully. Example, the lawyer scrutinized every detail of the contract. Next word, omit, omit. Does this word mean to include, to forget, or to leave out? To admit means to leave something out. Example, you can admit this paragraph if it's not relevant to your essay. Next word and the last word, catalyst, catalyst. Does this mean an obstacle, a cause for change, or a delay? A catalyst is something that causes change or speeds up a process. Example, the new law served as a catalyst 
for economic reform. I now have a question for you. Did you know all of the 17 words? Was it easy? Was it difficult? Do you see that you improved? If you did this, you definitely improved. Now, please give me a like and a thumbs up. I would love that and subscribe to the channel and you will help out the community and let me know in the comments what you think. I'll see you soon in the next video. Hi, how are you today? If you would like to elevate your English level where people actually understand you, where you're not making mistakes, where you're not confused, where you have control of your English, then you're in the right place. My name is David Sugarman. I've been teaching business English for over 12 years and I can really help you. Currently right now, I'm teaching in big companies like Diplomat Israel, like Ikea and others. If you would like to hear more information, please reach out to me over here. Bye for now.